right, thanks for tuning back in, guys. This is going to be like a box break. And, uh, yeah, I got uh, Richard Price getting red, Trenton getting white, Chris Nelson getting blue, Frank Aries getting green, Chad Erickson's getting black, Moody Magic's getting multicolor, and Red Dua Manual is going to take home colorless and lands. So, pretty sweet. Good luck, guys. I hope you all pull something fun. Uh, this was just like a bonus for being a patron of mine. I just picked a bunch of people at random. If you want to learn more about the gold Patreon, it's in the link. Uh, it's in the link in the description of every single video. And yeah, there's the full playmat of Sarah Angel looking gorgeous as always. You can't go wrong with her. All right. Little eye candy while I sit here and crack some cards. There we go. So hopefully something nice comes out of here. Good luck, guys. Let's do this. Recollect. Isolate. Uh, down the road, it might go up in price. I had a feeling it would go up. So far, so nada. So that was Trenton. There you go, Mike. My organization skills are really subpar here. Oh, sweet card. Just saying, made a deck out of it. Fun times, fun times, huh? A lot of deck techs I've been spitting out lately, so if you haven't seen the deck techs, you guys might want to go back and give it the old checkeroo. Spit Flame, that is seeing quite a bit of play lately. I have been noticing a quite a bit of a quite a bit of stuff out of that card. Woodland Stream, Dragon Token, nice. Man, Ravnica is shaping up to be a pretty good tormenting voice is always on top. Some things never change. Uh, yeah, Ravnica is, is really shaping up to be a, a pretty fun-looking set so far. Unless they spoiled every single good card and there's nothing left. I mean, I don't know. But it's really shaping up that way. Uh, we got a little liquor. So, a liquor. There you go. Got a liquor for you, man. Might be a window liquor. I don't know. Well, that's all for you, Mr. Erickson. Good old liquor. Hopefully we get one of those big pools. So uh, you guys go home some wieners here. There are a decent amount of commons up in here that are okay, but nothing that really like stands out. Pelica Worm would not be one of those uh, stander outers there. So, you know. Yeah, there's that. A lot of talk. People are saying that uh, the new removal, the black and green removal, is just redunculous. Assassin's, uh, what's the name of it? Assassin's something. But yeah, it really is redunculous. You better believe that. And then there's some people that are like, it's it's not that powerful. It's it's not that powerful. But that's like the, the whole hater community. Like the whole hater community is the one saying, it's it's not that powerful. It, it's, it's just not. And I'm, I'm just like sitting there laughing like, okay, yeah, it's... Not that strong, okay. The, now, the thing that would make it really strong would be if it did say Exile on the card, and it does not say Exile on the card. So, uh, if it did, though, yeah, that card would be something different. Mystis, Mystic Archaeologist. Anyone play that? I mean, it's just too easy to remove. I can't see it being worth, uh, worth the risk to throw it in a deck, honestly. Look at this beam running down all these cards. Like, it was just ran over with... Uh, the press. They're like, yeah, we're gonna press this really good here. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, but it's fun to hear that. I mean, sure, you can make that argument that it's not gonna be worth much. Or it's not that great of a removal, but you'd be kidding yourself, and uh, I would just think lesser of you <laughs> as, a, as a Magic the Gathering player. If, uh, if, if you decided that it's just not that great of a card. <laughs> or that, or you're just trying to clickbait people to watch your videos. I mean, one of the two. Uh, Rise from the Grave. Oof, gutter snipe. Oh! Damn! <laughs> Who's taking that, man? Moody Magic! Woo! Moody Magic, baby! Wow! Well, there's something you can uh, slap your beans to, man. Holy smokes! Moody Magic, just for being a patron, my dude, you're taking home in a cold ball as the Ravenger. Suck it. Uh, yeah, with the token uh, to punt. Wow, man, congratulations. That is a nice little hit there. Oh, man. Clean up aisle my pants. Oh, my dog. 
Wow, that is big. Congrats, man. Holy smokes. Congratulations. Good old reclamation stage. Keeping the ball rolling? Sure. Men are the meek. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good old moody magic, man. Root snare. That's going out to someone as well. Throwing that in the cool guy pile there, huh? Wow. Um, I think that's only... Is that... I think that's the second Nicole Bullis we've pulled on this channel, I think. I think that's only the second one. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool indeed. Uh, Liliana's contract. All up in your piece. With a foil supreme phantom. Wow. Who's getting that sucker? Chris Nelson, you lucky SOB. Chris Nelson's currently serving in the military. Congratulations, dude. Hopefully you get time to even watch this video. Nice hit for you, sir. Holy smokes. I think I'll be cracking open a box for him. Uh, yeah, actually, I got an Eternal Masters booster box we're going to slap open here in the next few days. Nice little hit there. Uh, Lena, selfless champion. All up in the piece. So we had one definite monster hit, one semi hit. I think the Supreme Phantom's worth a little something. I'm not sure what the foil version is. Foil's usually always a little something uh, more than, well, yeah, it's always worth more, of course. Uh, it's like double or triple sometimes the value. Metamorphic Alteration. Metamorphic Alteration. With a foil nut of the tusk. Nut of the tusk. I didn't mean to say that, but it came out nut of the tusk. Nice nut and tusk there you got, man. Nice nice tusk nut. All right. <laughs> also, uh, from yesterday, the tier winners, for those who didn't watch, Stephen Jennings, Robbie, Andre O'Brien, and Carolyn Harper. Make sure you guys message me on Patreon. But wow, pretty sweet. Diagraph Ghoul, Psychic, Magistrate Scepter. All right, there's that. Nothing, nothing to get the old wet whistle over. Can we get a Planeswalker? I mean, well, I guess we already got one. We pulled a uh, bolus, but could we get another Planeswalker? I mean, that would be kind of cool if we just got one more Planeswalker. I was kind of hoping we'd get one more. Dark Dweller Oracle. Okay, okay, Dark Dweller Oracle. I, 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 does anyone run him? Sacrifice a creature, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. You still pay its cost. That card sucks. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I haven't really made any goblin decks in standard, and I see the reason why. Cards like that, they just suck. Um, I think they're getting a, a makeover. Uh, there's some remodeling going on in the goblin department with Ravnica, and that's really going to help. A foil mountain. So that one's going to Redu. That's cool, man. Congrats, brah. Congrats, brah, on a little uh, foil mountain that's worth five cents. Stupid. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They should really like maybe just limit the amount of uh, of uh, lands that they print that are foil. If you ask me, Goblin Trash Master. That's seeing some play for some crazy people. Sacrifice the Goblin Destroy Target Artifact. Sure. It is seeing some play. Some people like to play it. There's that. We got the Nask Bark Twins. Gast Bark, yeah, that's right. Scape Shift. Bam. Frank Airy. There you go, my dude. There you go, my dude. Mixing it up with who's getting what. Nasty little pool. Wow, that's two big mythics in one box. Two big mythics. You don't, you, don't, you don't see that every day, Bill. You just don't see that every day. This has been a really good box, I must say. So far, so good. Leonin a War Bleeder. That kid is always bleeding out in the field. Oh, man. Oh, oh, there it is again. See what I'm saying? Tormenting Voice is always on top. They do that on purpose. It's a psychological fuck. That's what it is, guys. They are psychologically screwing with our minds. It is one great big headbang. I'm telling you. That's, that's what's going on there. We got the old Chaos Wand. <coughs> See, nobody cares. Nobody cares. No one cares. Lava Axe to the face. I always wanted to do that to someone. All right. We got the Millstone. Cool card. Gin of Wishes. I'd like to see the gins go up in value. Dragon Egg Foil. That's cool. I'd like to have that. That is a cool card. Dragon Egg does see quite a bit of play. Just because it's like double dragon uh, trigger, you know. 
That's true. It's a double trigger dragon. It's a double trigger dragon. Yeah, yeah. Cleansing Nova. Nice little uh, removal there. Taking it. And uh, hopefully we pull her. I think that's a great card, honestly. And if you don't agree, well then that's 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 your that's your choice as a person. That that you're allowed to not agree. There's that. Uh, okay, fiery finish. That's what all my girlfriends say. All right. Oh, Liliana, untouched by death. Ask for the planeswalker, and guess what? Bam, Chad Erickson. Chad Erickson, nasty little hit there, son. Nasty little hit. Is that the second little hit you got there? I'm not sure. But either way, nasty little hit. This box is really shaping up to be something of dreams. That's three good uh, good hits. It really is. I made an infinite deck with her, by the way. Just saying. Infernal Reckoning. Great card. Not going to say much more on that one right now. We'll see ya. We'll see ya, partner. Infernal Reckoning. You are a solid card, I must say. You are a solid card. Act of Treason. Act of Treason. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We got a Tectonic Rift, for those of you who weren't aware. Johnny's Pride. And a Vivian's Invocation. I thought that was Vivian for a second. But uh, no, it's clearly not Vivian. Clearly, Mr. Moss. Clearly I was not Vivian. All right. See what else up here. Reliquary Tower. All right, something decent. Lightning Strike. Switcheroo. Oh. You make me sick. You make me sick to my stomach, Moody Magic. You and your amazing little hits here. You're making me throw up. Uh, nice one, man. And a, uh, a foiled goblin instigator. Gee, crikey, mate. I can go over here. Crikey, mighty. Making me, making me all disgusting. Rupture spear. Draconic. Oh, man. This box, right, this box is great. There's no other way to put it, man. This box is stupid. Who got white? Trenton, everyone's going home a winner. Almost everyone. Some of you guys got a little rip, but, you know, it's the odds of the... The odds of the... It's, it's just, you know... It's just the odds, man. This box is stupid. The only thing this box is missing is, like, a foil mythic right now. Uh, but if we get that, then this box just needs to shut up and go home. Uh, Supreme Phantom. There you go. Supreme Phantom for you. Man, what a box. I don't think I've opened a, um, a better core 2019 box. I don't think that's happened yet. You even got the Vine Mare. I mean, come on. Exclusion Mage, Law of the Lathless, Dragon Queen. That's right. We got Queen up in the house. We got the Queen up in the hizzle. I got to put the tokens over in that pile, too. Not all the tokens, but just uh, the emblems. Give them emblems to the corresponding person. You know what I'm seeing. Rise from the grave. Hungering Hydra. Can't seem to find its home anywhere because it's just not that great. I pity the foo who uses you. But you know what? I might. I might use it. I might. You know what? Maybe I'll make a deck around it. No, probably not a great idea. But you know what? If we did, would you watch it is the question. Some of you might. Dragon's Horde. Cool card. I do like that card. It does help out with stuff. I'm not going to give away that many freaking stupid bolus tokens. There's like eight in a box, like really. Let's not get, let's not get crazy here. Let's not get crazy with the, the common of the common of the common of the common. Arcane and Cyclo. Wind Reader Sphinx. Man, we really did pull all the hits. We are down to just a few cards. If you guys are still watching, please take a moment. Smash that like button and leave a comment. It always helps. Uh, little small YouTubers like me grow. Bam! Dismissive Pyromancer. Nice. Oh, and a foil monolith. That's gotta be worth something, though, huh? A foil monolith? I think it's worth something. I'm not sure how many times I'm, uh, the monolith was printed, but... Uh, yeah, something. That one looks nice. Looks like this big stiffy in the middle of nowhere, and there's like a stream running down. Oh, man, what's that? Uh, Stitcher Supplier. Gifts of Paradise. And Psy Master Thopterus. Blue getting a little hit. There you go. A little bit of life for you, Mr. Blue. Uh, Chris Nelson, you already got some life. Enough life for you, Chris Nelson. Can we spread it can we spread it around a little bit? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can cancel what I just said there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see. Arcane and Cyclo. 
Rupture, Brawler, a Johnny's Last Stand. Mm. Oh, Detection Tower, Foil. That's cool. So that one's going out to uh, Redu again. Redu, you have been, you have, you are the chosen one, Redu. Redu, Redu, you are, you are the chosen one for good hits. You have gotten a couple good hits now. Congratulations. What is a foil deflection tower going for anyway? Tormenting voice, second from the top. Craziness. It almost made the cut. Vine Mare. I think that's uh, a decent card now. We're going to put that in the cool guy pile. A Giant's Primate. Amulet Safekeeping. Herald of Faith. Whenever you Herald of Faith attacks, you gain two life. Pretty cool. They couldn't just give it lifelink, could they? <coughs> they could not. If they would have given it lifelink, they would have made it overpowering, huh? I guess that's the way the cookie crumbs. Couldn't you give a 4-3 flying with lifelink for 5? I mean, that's not even that great. There's 4 threes. Uh, with flying and lifelink for four. I'm just saying. Come on now. I don't know what they were thinking with that card. Not bad, though. Sure. A runic armasaur to close us out. Appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. Definitely smack that thumbs up button, and I'll get the stuff shipped out no later than Friday for all my patrons. I love you guys uh, and all you subscribers out there who constantly come back and watch my videos. You guys are the shit. Thank you very much. It goes a long way. I appreciate it. As always, guys, PLA.